we are, back at the house in France on a lovely uh, sunny October day, uh, nice enough to be working outside which is uh, what I'm going to do first, the first job on the agenda is to remove all these stones. Um, so yeah we asked everybody what they thought about the stones, it was pretty much 50-50 but we've decided we're going to get rid of them and uh, we'll put them to one side for now and then make uh, a rockery or um, use them in some form as edging uh, at some point in the future. So uh, the reason for the stones was to cut down on maintenance. In the past when we came, we, we, you know, we'd spend the first two or three days just cutting the grass and getting rid of the weeds and to be honest we've got more important things to be doing. So doing this um, has helped cut down on that time. I am actually um, talking to somebody at the moment about uh, coming in once every couple of weeks to get rid of the weeds on the stoned area, so that will help in the future. Uh, I've got Mick coming at the end of the week, and we intend to work on the bedroom in the, uh, you know, the main house. Uh, Mark's coming as well to lay down all the electrics, the first fix of electrics. Um, quite a lot of that to do as well. We want to clear what's going to be the kitchen out and uh, lay it out roughly um, to how we're going to have it, just so we know where we're going to put all the lights and uh, power points and everything else. So lots to do. First job is to get rid of all these stones. So that's what I'm going to be starting now. Hope you enjoy the uh, vlogs and I will talk with you later. Take care everybody. Cheers. Bye. Yeah, well, that didn't take too long, and they're quite heavy, some of these stones. Um, I always have a good look at them, because uh, you often find a lot of fossils inside the stones. 2,000 years ago, <coughs> excuse me, 2,000 years ago, when the Romans were here, all of this was under the sea. It's all reclaimed land, and I have seen maps of uh, the next village down where I lived before actually being an island and there's still evidence of that it's just a little bit higher up than here so yeah it's always interesting I did find a stone with a fantastic fossil on put it down I could never find it again so I always look to see if I can find it again but anyway that's our job done and now I'm gonna have a, a coffee and uh, I'll start on the main house see you soon The main job for the next two weeks will be sorting this room out. This is the upstairs bedroom, which is above what will be the kitchen in the main house eventually. Um, I've got Mick coming over uh, next week. I'm picking him up from the airport on uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, so with the two of us, we should, be get, uh, should be able to get this 
uh, quite a way on, I'm hoping. The first job is to get the floorboards up. Uh, they're not in a very good state at all, they're not safe. So yeah, we want to get these up, get the floor insulated. As I say, the kitchen is below. Mark's going to come, we've had a chat with Mark, he's going to come uh, probably Wednesday time, start putting all the electrical wires in for the lighting downstairs, plug sockets and everything up here. This is going to be the main bedroom of the house. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot to do. The walls are in a pretty bad state as well. But one thing is, it's great to be working on the main house now. You know, we've moved on from the sheet and... Uh, so yeah, might as well get started. Um, I want to see if we can save any of these floorboards for different projects. Probably not, the majority of them. Um, but they should burn well. Okay, everybody, wish me luck. Yeah, surprising what you find under floorboards. Some somebody's comic. Um, the date on it is November 1954. So uh, three years before I was even born, and in actually quite good condition. So obviously being under the floorboards has preserved it a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's something to go into a treasure chest. Okay, continue. Let's see what else we find. Well, it's one o'clock and I've approximately got about a quarter of the floor up. It is hard going. I put some big nails in there and uh, obviously with the age of the, the timbers and everything else, they're gripping really well and most of the nails are rusty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have something to eat and then I'll come back and start on a, another quarter of it. I'd like to have all of this done, if possible, by tomorrow night. Um, it may take until the following day. Depends how these come up. Some of these on this side aren't in as good a condition as the ones on that side, so they might break up pretty easily. So, yeah, I'll go and get something to eat and then talk to you later. Okay. Uh, to be honest, there's always a fear of going through some of these. They're very, very soft. So uh, just need to be careful. So yeah, we'll start at uh, probably in the middle again, went my way over to the wall. Um, what I've decided to do, because some of these nails are still in here from the old boards, uh, I'm gonna use a grinder to take them off. I'm not gonna try and pull them out. It's too difficult, take too long. And uh, using a grinder is an easier solution, but uh, that's when I've got all the boards up. So uh, 
Let's get on with it. Cheers. first half of the uh, floorboards out which means I can now get on with the uh, other half of the room I had to bring them out here because one I don't want to throw them out the window to damage the garden and they're too big to get down the stairs and around the corner at the bottom what I intend to do is to make this into uh, the workroom here in the bedroom next door so I'm going to bring up the uh, chop saw and I'm going to chop all of these um, probably just in half or whatever see what they're like and I may try and keep some for firewood for when uh, we're here over the winter because we have a log burner and if not I'll just get rid of them take them down to the tip so uh, that's enough for today I'm gonna go and uh, have a shower cool off a bit because it's still warm and uh, then I'll carry on tomorrow okay everybody thanks for watching talk to you soon cheers <laughs>